Allah Ohana, God bless you, your household, and your Ohana in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Welcome, welcome, Ohana. God bless you and all that you do. May you do it in the Lord's name. Amen. Today we're going to be talking about this beautiful message that the Lord has placed on my heart today. Hallelujah. Holy kisses. Amen. Holy kisses. So what happened this morning when I was doing my chores and I was outside and it was a beautiful sunny morning. Yeah? I look up at the clouds and I'm just like in awe at what I see. So there's clouds and then I see like a nose. And then right at the nose, there was like a hand like this blowing and I knew what that was that was a kiss like this yeah God blowing kisses to us and that's what we do too you know when we're sharing God's word and we being that living example that's us sharing God's love in an essence and in a way in its rawest form what God intended for us to do right because God doesn't only want us to be hearers he wants us to be doers so with this motion holy kisses we get into his word he speaks about this okay so i have a few scriptures that's going to go over holy kisses and the first one that i want to go over is songs of solomon chapter 1 verse 2 and 4 okay and i also have a drawing of what i've seen that i'll share with you at the end okay so song of solomon chapter 1 verse 2 and 4 and it reads the song of the song of songs which is solomon's verse 2 and it reads let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth for thy love is better than wine verse 3 it reads because of the savor of thy good ointment thy name is an ointment poured forth therefore do the virgins love thee verse 4 it reads draw me we will run after thee. The king hath brought me into his chambers. We will be glad and rejoice in thee. We will remember thy love more than wine. The upright love thee. Amen. Okay. Amen. <sighs> Holy kisses. So that's where it started. Okay. And then I went ahead and dug deeper and then I found a few more scriptures speaking of these holy kisses, okay? So with the Song of Solomon, there's a lot of interpretation of who they're speaking about. But because of what God has shown me this morning and I know in my heart that in this right here, okay, if you take a really good look at it where it says for thy love is better than wine. Hallelujah. Okay. We're speaking of divine love, okay? We're not talking about carnal, human to human love. We're talking about divine love within that relationship that you cultivate with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For we are hidden with Christ in God. Amen. Okay. So we're speaking of divine love. And in verse 3 it says, Because of the savor of thy good ointments, thy name is an ointment poured forth. Therefore do the virgins love thee. Okay. God's name, hallelujah. There's no name above his name. Amen. His name pours out his love, his peace, his joy everything that we need hallelujah so we lift up whose name hallelujah the lord's name yes and we give what prayers of thanksgiving for all of his love and the way it shows up in our life we don't get to choose how love is being demonstrated towards us or how people choose to be that example of love in your life, okay? We all fall short, right? We all fall short on demonstrating this love. 
And with God's word, he's teaching us, right? Teaching us. We're growing in his grace. He's teaching us how to love the way that he loved. Amen. Being that living example of who Christ Jesus is for us, we do for one another. Amen. Okay. And then we continue where it says, first four it reads, draw me. We will run after thee. Okay, it's like seeking after God, seeking after God's wisdom, God's love, seeking God's face, seeking God's heart, running to God with your heart. Hallelujah. Yeah? Okay. And each time, each step we're taking, we're getting closer and closer. Our hearts are being transformed. Our lives are being transformed. Our steps are getting more steady. And we're steadfast in that foundation that we have through Christ Jesus. Okay? And it continues. We will run after thee, and the king hath brought me into his chambers. So if we think about his chambers, the Lord's house, he wants us to fill his house. Okay? God wants us to fill his house. And how is his house going to be filled? Hallelujah. They have to hear. Right? They have to be... They have to elevate their ears to God's word. But in order for them to hear, someone must be what? Amen. Sharing. Preaching. That live an example. You are that light for your house. And your household. For your family. You that live an example closest to them. Amen. So you continue to pray for them. You continue to be that light for your house. But not just for your house alone. But your community. Amen. Wherever wherever God has placed you can be your workplace um, geographical level um, he may have relocated you from from another state to another state or from the states to another country God has big plans for you and his will and plan for your life is established amen we don't get to choose on who we want to be being in Christ Jesus. Let me rephrase that. We have the free will to choose, but we don't get to pick and choose what we want to do when it comes to following Jesus Christ on that righteous path. We're not the one who's leading our steps. We're not the one who's leading the ones who's behind us. We are what? Following who? Jesus. Amen. We're following His example. We're following His steps. His love is an example for us to shine bright in this world. Amen. Jesus Christ said that living example for each and every single one of us. Amen. So be that vessel that God can use to shine bright in this world. Hallelujah. Okay. And each time when you're sharing God's word, that's you blowing holy kisses out there into the universe sowing seeds hallelujah and may they be planted and watered in the mighty name of jesus for he is the one who waters all of those seeds that you sow so do not underestimate where god has placed you do not underestimate the steps and the order of those steps because sometimes you might think like oh i shouldn't i should be like way over there by now and you feel like you're um, delayed or you feel like um, you may not be walking accordingly. But the thing is, if you feel that way, you continue to examine your heart, you give it to God, and you get into His Word. Yeah, You align your steps, your everything with God's Word. Okay, And try not to... reach out there into the world to find some kind of explanation of what you got going on because the world is not going to be able to interpret what god is saying to you if god when god is speaking to you in order to understand what god is saying it is the holy spirit that teaches you okay the holy spirit teaches you on what god is speaking to you in that very moment or when you're in his word okay and don't expect to get it like this and um because you don't know and you don't understand you think that um you're not you're not you must not be doing something right but in reality is 
we are supposed to allow God's word to marinate in our heart and allow it to grow and take root and the fruits of God, God's word is that living example that shines forth in our life. Amen. Okay. Sorry, you guys. I, for those of you who don't know, I have my um, one of my doggies. She got her. She hurt her leg. Yeah, she broke her leg. So she said, moving about over here. She was sleeping. <laughs> But God is so good, oh Hannah, you allow God to speak to you and through you, okay? When we approach God's word with an open heart, yeah, an open heart, meaning we allowing God's word to come in, take place, its rightful place in our lives in our heart allowing that to grow jesus is going to teach you everything you need to know okay don't think that when you read it you're supposed to understand everything like okay i get it it, it doesn't work like that okay the holy spirit is the one who's going to teach you okay so you just continue to get into god's word and you continue to pray amen continue to pray okay all right what are we on? Okay, Romans. The next one we're going over is Romans chapter 16, verse 16. Okay? And it reads Salute one another with an holy kiss. The churches of Christ salute you. Okay? So this is the, the, the first scripture that I found about. Um, they're mentioning the holy kiss okay so let's um carry on and please read further okay don't just stop where where i stop you you continue to read further where god calls you to read okay and you just pray and you allow god's word to marinate in your heart okay allow his word to marinate right here okay not up here because we're not going to learn anything carnally when we approach god's word we got to approach it with our heart and not our flesh okay not carnally okay it's here restoring it here it's marinating transforming hallelujah producing fruit in our life and that's all because of god and god is good okay okay so this next one i'm going to share with you is first corinthians chapter 16 verse 20. okay Earlier she was sleeping. Earlier she was sleeping and I had a feeling once I started doing the video she was gonna get up but hey you know what? We just gotta make do. And it's okay and I hope you guys don't mind. 
Um, so it was, that was Romans chapter 16, verse 16. Okay. And it says, well, forgive me. First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 20. And it reads, all the brethren greet you. Greet ye one another with an holy kiss. Okay. With a holy kiss. Hallelujah. So continue, read further, okay, Ohana, read further. Don't you stop where I stopped. Get into God's word for yourself so that you know, hallelujah. That's how you even grow in the knowledge of Jesus Christ is we have to get into his word for ourselves. Yes, for ourselves. Okay, we cannot rely on anybody else to know God's word. We have to get into his word for ourselves, yeah? work on your, your personal salvation with the Lord hallelujah continuously examining our own hearts and our own lives okay so this next one that I want to share with you is 2nd Corinthians chapter 13 yeah chapter 13 from 8 to 14 and it reads for we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Verse 9. For we are glad when we are weak, and you are strong. And this also we wish, even your perfection. Verse 10. Therefore I write these things, being absent, lest being present, I should use sharpness, according to the power which the Lord has given me to edify edification and not to destruction verse 11 it reads finally brethren farewell be perfect be of good comfort be of one mind and live in peace and the God of love and peace shall be with you verse 12 greet one another with an holy kiss verse 13 it reads all the saints salute you verse 14 it reads the grace of the lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy ghost be with you all amen okay and that was second corinthians chapter 13 verse 8 through 14 okay okay so this next one we're going to go over is first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 through 28 and it reads in everything give thanks for this is the will of god in christ jesus concerning you verse 19 quench not the spirit verse 20 it reads despise not prophesying verse 21 it reads Prove all things and hold fast that which is good. Verse 22. Abs abstain from all appearance of evil. Verse 23 it reads. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 24 it reads. Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. Verse 25 it reads, Brethren, pray for us. Verse 26 it reads, Greet all the brethren with an holy kiss. 27 it reads, I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. Verse 28 it reads, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay, so this very last one over here, I got First Peter chapter 5, and we're going to read that whole chapter, okay? And it reads, The elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder, and a witness of the suffering of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Verse 2, it reads, Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Verse 3. It reads, 
neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being in examples to the flock. Hallelujah. Verse 4 it reads, And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Verse 5 it reads, Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elders. Ye, all of you, be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. For God resisteth the proud, and giveth grace to the humble. Verse 6, it reads, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Verse 7, it reads, Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Verse 8, it reads, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Verse 9, it reads, Whom resisted fast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Verse 10, it reads, But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. And verse 11, it reads, To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. And we're going to jump over to verse 14, and it reads, Greet ye one another with a kiss of charity. Peace be with you all that are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Okay? Amen. A holy kiss. The Lord wants us to greet one another with a holy kiss. And recognize when you're sharing God's love, when you're sharing God's word, you are breathing out, right? You're breathing out love. You're breathing out kisses from God, okay? Remember now, all that you do, do it in the Lord's name. Amen. Amen. If you're seeking answers, you have questions that you don't know who to ask, you go to God with everything. Hallelujah. Yes. You go to God with everything. And you continue to put God first. Amen. Amen. Okay. So since we got into that, now I'm going to show you. Ouch. Oh, yeah. The drawing that I did I did the best that I could <laughs> so here's that and that's what I seen this morning yeah. and it was kind of awesome because like when I seen the nose it was peeking out of the clouds just like how I drew and then the fingers the hand was like this I knew it was a kiss, like it was like blowing a kiss. And it's like the fingertips were like, it was separate. It was just the fingertips alone. It was like perfect fingers. And it was like sw like slightly sweeping, like the, the, the motion of blowing. Yeah? And I just was like, ah, oh, it's like, boom, right in my heart. And I would have to like think, hmm, what does that mean? No, the Lord already in place with my heart that like he was blowing a kiss yeah so everything you watch everything you hear everything you see everything you think you know everything you want to know questions answers whatever it may be it don't matter you always go to god with it amen amen all right ohana you continue to fix your eyes on jesus you continue to pray and you continue to push through amen know that god sees you exactly where you are god knows what you're going through and god loves you hallelujah so i pray that this video has reached you in a way that you have received these holy kisses from god in the mighty name of jesus god bless you and your ohana and your household in jesus name amen and aloha